Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes to the word audio devotional. Today's topic is have you lost your taste? And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 13. You are the salt of the earth, but what good is salt if it has lost its flavor? Can you make it salty again? It will be thrown out and trampled underfoot as worthless. All through this week, we shared different things about our journey to the work God has called us to do. And like I said, it is my hope that we are developing a toolkit that will help us as we navigate on our individual journeys. I want us to end this week with a thought. Jesus, speaking in our anchor scripture and speaking to believers, says, You are the salt of the earth. Now, for those who cook, you know that salt is used to flavor a pot of food. You put a little quantity, less than the quantity of the food in the pot. But that little quantity changes the taste of the entire pot. When we take our place in the works that God has called us to do, we are like salt. We are fewer than the unbelievers in our place of work or our places of assignment. Yet our presence there, when we are connected to the Holy Spirit, listening for his instruction and his voice, makes us like salt. The little ingredient needed to give flavor to the entire space. Jesus then goes on to say, what good is salt if it has lost its flavor? A believer who is not taking their place or who is not connected so as to know what God exactly wants for him or her to do is like salt that has lost its flavor. Imagine Shifra and Poa not knowing what God had placed them to do in the maternity. Imagine Joseph not knowing what he was to do when he got to the palace. Imagine Noah not understanding or doing his assignment when God told him to. When we see ungodly laws that that have been passed, which have the propensity to derail the destinies of our children, it is an indication that some believers have not taken their place. When we see demonic educational materials filtering into schools, we know that those in that sector have not connected adequately in order to bring God's kingdom down in that sector. When we see perverse content in the media and in cartoons, it is a call that believers need to take their place in that industry. There are two instances where believers can lose their flavor. One, when they do not know or care to find out where they are to be in the first place. And two, when they are in the right place, but are so disconnected from the spirit of God that they become like every, everyone else. The Bible says when salt has lost its taste, all it is good for is to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. Remember we said that there are consequences for not taking your place in destiny. Consequences to you and consequences to the entire body of Christ. As we go into the weekend, ask yourself, am I where I should be? And if I am, am I doing what the Lord expects of me? Don't stop with asking yourself. Begin also to ask God. Ask him, what are the works that have my name on it? And Lord, if my positioning is already correct, please, what strategy would you have me use to do your assignment where I am? Remember that God reveals progressively. As long as you are connected, your flavor is intact. I pray for you and for anyone who will be listening to this, that we will not lose our flavor. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.